Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Conor, your YouTube fisherman. Back with another video from Plalinda Beach. Guys, we just made it to the beach. Look who's here. Hey, Famous Kaihan, my buddy. He's finally came out from his hole. He's been hiding in the hole for months and months. I haven't seen him fishing for six months. Shame on you, Kaihan. Secret bait for you. Oh, you got secret bait? He got a secret bait, guys. I can't wait to see this. And he just got a fish on. We literally just got here, setting up. That bait was sitting on my fridge for two months. Bait was fishing on your fridge for two months. Oh, that's a very special bait. <laughs> Look who's here! He heard me arrive to the beach and came to say hello, my best friend. Oh man, what a nice friend you are. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna show Kaihan's secret bait that he got in the fridge for two months. Prepare. They're still going crazy for it. Okay, right here guys. It's a shrimp from Publix. He, he got it peeled off and then he puts them in a paper towel, kosher salt and put the shrimp on top and more kosher salt and other paper towel because all the juice comes out, the paper towel sucks it and leaves it, leaves it in the fridge for 24 hours and it gets so hard. Guys, look at that. That's not gonna come out of nowhere. Wow. That's almost like plastic feel. And he just put some fish bites right there. That's it, that's his secret bait. Let's see how it does. We got our frozen sand flea fish gum. That way the frozen sand flea doesn't fly out. And of course it attracts the fish. I like fish gums a lot. Five ounce primate weight. And I change my hooks always to number one, number two circle hook and some beads on there to attract the fish. Pam battle to 6,000. And I got my H2O Express 10 footer and the other rod is 12 footer. And high tide's coming in around 12.30. Right now it's 10.30. So it's a perfect time to catch some good whiting. And maybe if you're lucky, pompanos. Here we go. Boom, 60 yards right there, right in the deep end. Hi right, guys, second rod ready. I got the wire rig for any shark action. Nice, fresh shrimp, tail cut off, head cut off. I tie it up with the string. I use the string so they don't come out easily. And I got my frozen mother right there. That's the ticket for any shark, man. They love it. Let's see. Who's the winner? Dilara, we, who are you gonna choose? The wire lead with the mullet or the pump on the rig with the sample? Take your pick. Don't forget, whoever catches the most fish, you pick this one. All right, Dilara picks this rod. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Well, you just. Well. Yeah, they got shrimp, frozen mullet. It's good bait, both good baits. And the other one had got the sample, so let's see guys. Who's gonna be the winner? Whoever catches the most fish. Alright. Cast it out, baby. Yes. Right on the deep end. High tide is coming. Let's go. Oh, Dilara's rod went off. I think something small, but if she has one, she is up 1-0. Man. I knew I got the right beat. Man, you're lucky, you. Let's see. Because it's like a jack. Oh, no. Aww. It got the bait. Jeez. Oh, man. Wah, wah. Sorry. Wow, they took all the baits. Oh, we got some action. It's like a jackpot. Oh, they got another fish. There you go. Reel, pull up all the way. Pull up and reel. Pull up and reel. There you go. Quicker. There you go. Good job, Baba. 
Pull it all the way up and real, real, real fast. Pull it up real fast. Good job. Put the tip up, always keep it tight. If you get it loose, the fish comes out from the hook. Yeah, keep it tight, keep it tight. There you go. You can't hold it anymore? <laughs> okay, I got it. No, because my hand is literally... Like uh, it's hold. okay, let's see what you got. Man, if you get a fish, you're gonna be up 1-0. Oh no, they just bite into it. Ooh, look at that bite. Okay, okay, I had to stop the video yesterday, which you just got just watched. I was at Play Linda with my daughter and trying to fish. Guys, oh my God, it was so hot out there. It was 104 degrees, 104. It was ridiculous. No fish, some croakers, some small whitings, a couple of my best friends and all tiny, I'm talking like tiny little fish. That's it. So I had to stop it there. We left, it got really hot. And with my daughter, I don't want her to be there, you know, exposed to the sun, Florida sun. So we left and I didn't want to finish the video. I want to make the video for you guys, complete it. So I'm back here behind my backyard the next day on the lake. I'm gonna do something I never done before. I'm gonna do the freshwater fishing. Some bass, there's a lot of fish here. So I'm gonna do that for you. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like me to do some freshwater fishing as well on my videos, if you like that. I know a lot of people love that. So let me know, comment below please. But that's what I'm gonna do today. And we're using worms right here with my Shimano 4000 and try to get some bass here. Light tackle obviously, very light. So let's see. I want to get you guys a nice footage. I hope you guys like it. I hope we catch some fish because I cannot, you know, complete a video without catching a fish. So let's go. Okay, so here it is guys. Here's the presentation. Here's the lake. This is going almost 16, 17 feet deep in the middle. I took my kayak here one day. I went all over on the other side. I couldn't believe how deep it was. Some areas, 20 feet. It's ridiculous deep. So, and a lot of fish here. That's the worm. And the way it swims. Like that. See, it's pretty good. The tail action chartreuse color so i'm hoping it attracts some fish the fish usually stays right on the bank area right becomes deep and just like salt water they just sit there so but i'm gonna throw in the middle and just work it back couple jerks slowly go down wait for it to go down Jerk, jerk. It's a beautiful morning. So hopefully, we'll catch a nice bass for you guys. Like I said, I don't do freshwater fishing. To me, it's like you catch the same type of fish all the time. There's like a couple of them. So that doesn't really gets me excited i love salt water because you can catch so many different species with so many different methods i love that challenge so oh first fish guys here comes the bass <laughs> here we go that's a good one 
slow retrieve. I use the mirror lure right there. And here's a good bass for you. Look at that. Right on the side of the mouth. That's pretty good. Right there. Not bad. That's a good three pounder. Right on the side of the mouth. This is what we're using with the I change from the warm, there's a little mirror, J-hook, hey, we try everything, but there you go guys, we got our fish, nice bass, healthy, we let him go, oh yeah, good three pounds, easy, there you go buddy, there he goes, <laughs> also, my daughter tell me that I should be funnier on my videos. I'll get more subscribers. So here's a joke for you guys. Why fish are so smart? Because they swim in schools. <laughs> brum, brum, get it? They swim in schools. They're so smart. Wow. So here's my joke, guys. Hopefully, I'll get more subscribers with this joke. <laughs> guys, I'm using the slam shady with the little mirror lure. Oh my God, look what I caught. <laughs> this is incredible. What the... That is crazy. Isn't it glass minnow? What are they doing here? What, uh, what is this, guys? Tell me. Look at this. That is it. We just got our one bass from the lake. And at least I got you guys one fish. So I couldn't leave the video without catching anything. But let me know if you guys like the freshwater fishing. You want me to do more of those. And also to the experts, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? What lures works the best? If you can, let me know comments below, please. I would appreciate it. I would like to get some tips. Since I don't do any fresh water, I would like to learn it as well. So why not? You know, I have it in my backyard, the lake. And we have a lot of lakes around Orlando. So uh, let me know, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I got to go have plans with the family. So I got to cut the day early, have some breakfast and get out with the family. But again, I really appreciate you guys. We're almost at 2,000. My goal to hit 2,000 before the year end. I'm at 1540. So with your help, hopefully I will make it. So please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, watching the videos. I'll be making more and I promise you we'll be catching a lot of fish. So thanks again. I will see you on the next video. See you guys.